Welcome in, everybody. Ty Bartell in with another edition of Coach's Corner. This time I'm with my man, Matt, Mark Baker, from the Newton Falls Tigers girls basketball team. <laughs> another year with the Tigers. Coach, how are we doing? I'm doing well. Looking how forward to you? another start of the season. Thanks for having me. Oh, we're, we're always happy to have you, and I'm sure you are looking forward to it. I know Newton Falls loves their basketball season, no doubt, both sides of the hoop. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about this uh, this upcoming season, and first and foremost, the scrimmages and uh, and the practices that you guys have been able to get, if you've been able to get scrimmages, that is. I know some people are in different spots uh, with where they're at with that, but out of the scrimmages, if you've had them, and practices that you've had, what have you seen? What has stood out to you? Well, practice wise, you know, we, we've got a little bit of a late start because the volleyball team was very successful, made it all the way to the to the district volleyball tournament. Uh, so we're really only on about day five, I think, maybe today uh, of practice. Uh, we have not had a scrimmage yet. We have our first scrimmage coming up this weekend with uh, with Pine Matuming Valley. Uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, just trying to, you know, it's crunch time, trying to get a lot, awful lot of things in in a short period of time, uh, trying to cram as much in, uh, trying some new things this year uh, with some new personnel. Uh, you know, we had some young ladies that, that spent a lot of time in the off season trying to improve, or, or which or I thought was our biggest area of weakness, which was the offensive side of the floor. Um, you know, I got some girls that could really get after it and, and, and play defense and, and, and rebound the ball pretty well. Uh, but we needed to improve our ability to score the basketball. So I had some ladies that really spent a lot of time uh, in the gym in the off season. So we're trying some things different offensively this year for sure. When you talk about scrimmages coming up and you talk about your first one against Pima Tuning Valley, what are some things you're going to be looking for? Are there any key points? Are there certain things you're you're keeping an eye on in this first scrimmage? Definitely, definitely looking to see if we got some people that can that can put the basketball in the hole a little bit. Uh, looking for some additional people to be able to handle the ball to bring the ball down the floor. Uh, you know, last year obviously uh, Danny Drake was a point guard, and and we played her an awful lot of minutes uh, to to help bring the ball down the floor. So uh, we're gonna gonna do some things this year by committee. Uh, we've got Tori Fanton is gonna fill that point guard role. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I kind of learned from last year that, that you know, playing uh, some people as many minutes as we did last year, it certainly wears on some people. So uh, looking for some other young ladies to kind of step up and fill some roles uh, that they weren't, haven't necessarily been comfortable with in the past. And you mentioned Tori for this year, but uh, go through the rest of the roster and, and shout out some other names that you could expect to get some minutes as the season uh, progresses. Uh, absolutely. I, I've got the three seniors this year. Uh, Lily Sate, uh, one of our name you've probably heard before, one of our shooters, uh, probably one of our top scorers and rebounders last year, uh, coming off a terrific volleyball season. Uh, really looking for her to do a lot of things, both on the perimeter as well as inside. Uh, Kennedy Howard, probably one of our sharp shooters uh, from the outside. I think probably led the team or close to leading the team last year uh, and made three-point field goals last year. And we're going to get Logan Elliott back. Uh, Logan, we lost Logan last year due to a knee injury, uh, and, and she's certainly uh, – she's been in a gym. Uh, fantastic effort so far from that young lady and, and just, just dying to play. Uh, she's a very dynamic player. Uh, can kind of play on the perimeter, can kind of, you know, uh, a slasher, a driver, gets to the basket basket real well uh, and, and long, lengthy, can defend, gets out a lot of deflections, gets out in transition. Uh, some juniors you're going to see, obviously I mentioned Tori Fanton there, uh, going to play a point guard for us this year. Uh, is really, uh, you know, just, just, brings tenacious energy, uh, just infectious energy uh, that Tori brings. She's a very upbeat uh, young lady. Uh, she's just that 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 extra cheerleader that everybody has. And now we're kind of grooming her into being a bit of a, uh, a floor general on the floor. Uh, Madison Davis uh, played a lot for us last year as well. Uh, another young lady who kind of play her inside, outside, um, uh, can shoot the basketball a little bit. And then uh, another junior, uh, they get, they got quite a few minutes last year as well. It's going to be Morgan Kendall. We really look for Morgan uh, to do a lot of things this year uh, for us. Especially, we need to we need her to really step up and score the basketball. At, at times uh, over the summer, uh, we had some glimpses with Morgan where she could really uh, really score a bunch of points in a short period of time, and that would that that's really going to be beneficial to us moving forward. What would you say the identity of this team is or is going to be as the season goes along? 
I think, you know, typical Newton Falls. Uh, defense is uh, going to win you some games. You know, offense is going to put some people in the stands, but rebounding is going to win you a championship. So uh, you're going to see a team uh, that we're able to put on the floor. They're going to play hard, uh, you know, be defensively minded, rebounding minded. Uh, and hopefully this year we're going to execute a little bit better on the offensive end of the floor uh, and up our offensive production. But uh, typical Newton Falls team, we're going to uh, we're going to have we're going to play with grit. You know, I want to, uh, I tell the girls each and every night that you, I, I want you to be a team that is difficult to beat. Uh, no matter who you're playing against, I want to, you know, whatever the opponent would be. And we obviously got some fantastic teams on the schedule this year, but be a team that is difficult to beat each and every night uh, and be competitive. Come and compete in, day in and day out. And you're going to need that grit. I know you mentioned this schedule. I want to talk about the conference first and foremost, because, I mean, there's no gimmies in the NBA C grade. No, there is not. It's, it's a gauntlet. It's a meat grinder game in and game out. It's always tough to win. Talk to me about how you guys are going to fit in this conference, how you guys are going to have to compete in this conference. Yeah, well, the, the conference is – I feel like it's just getting – stronger every single year. Uh, you know, Crestview obviously brings just about everything back from last year and probably some girls back from injury uh, this year from a team that won 25 games last year. Uh, they they really uh, have put together, you know, Coach Blatt to put together a nice team down there uh, and look for them to do some really – really good things this year. Uh, but then, you know, LeBray uh, also has been young the last couple of years, but extremely competitive. Now they have young ladies are, are getting a little bit older. They've got some more experience with them. Uh, I look for LeBray to be very strong. The league is now uh, brought in Southeast. I, I think Southeast, in all honesty, uh, is going to catch a lot of teams by surprise. You know, we here at Newton Falls, we've played Southeast, you know, for the last 20 years. Uh, and th they have a, a very strong uh, women's sports tradition uh, at uh, at Southeast, whether it be basketball, volleyball, uh, a variety of things. Their girls' soccer team over there, uh, I think, did extremely well, won the league, and went to the district championship this year. Uh, so, you know, I, I think Southeast is a team some people better look out for. Uh, you know, obviously, Garrettsville uh, over there as well, going to get the Cardinal girl back from, uh, from injury, going to be very strong. Uh, so I, I think even some teams that you may not be, uh, you know, thinking about, even Brookfield, liberties with new coaches uh playing new styles uh you're gonna have to be ready each and every day uh in the league because it's it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a juggernaut it's gonna be a grind to the course of the season and you guys know just as well as a lot of teams do you're gonna have to pack that non-conference schedule plenty of tests for you guys to compete in that conference and like newton falls usually does you guys <laughs> it seems like did that what are some of these non-conference games that you're particularly excited to test your girls with you know, I, I look forward, honestly, I look forward to all of our games, whether it's non-league or conference game, I don't know, but we're going to kick things off right at the beginning of the year. We're going we're gonna to play Ravenna, you know, a, a Division One team. Uh, I feel like we've played them. If we haven't played them in a regular game, we've been scrimmaging them uh, every year for a number of years. Uh, so we're going to go right out the gate and, and, and play a team that's, uh, you know, probably more athletic than us, uh, faster than us, bigger, stronger than us. Uh, so we're going to get tested right out the gate uh, with some teams you're going to see. We also, I, I think, Game two, uh, Western Reserve, uh, you know, a, a team in the other portion of the uh, Mahoning Valley Athletic Conference tier, uh, but uh, a really strong women's basketball tradition down there with Coach Miller. Uh, I, I know he's probably already preparing things. Uh, he's going to have 900 different things for us to guard and uh, and be willing to throw all kinds of crazy things at us. So in um, the schedule, it just goes on and on from there each and every night. Uh, that's one of the things about the basketball schedule as well as the league schedule this year. So many different dynamics teams this year that are doing so many different uh, things that you have to prepare for, uh, you know, in practice and, and, you know, maybe on one day of practice where you're trying to prepare for just a number of things. So uh, I have to remind myself as a coach, don't get carried away. You can't take away everything. You try to take away everything, you're going to take away nothing. So, uh, you know, what, what's the one or two things that you can try to take away from a team uh, to try to help yourself be successful? That's one of the things I'm sure you've picked up with your long term coaching, mm -hmm. too. And I mean, it's always trying to so learn something new each and every year. Right. Yeah. Some year I'm going to I'm going to write myself a book because I feel like every year and I've been doing this now since 1995. But I feel like every year there's going to be probably one to three things where you're going to sit back and say, mm, boy, that, that's never happened before. So <laughs> <laughs> it never, never encountered that before. So uh, I'll write a book someday.
I know that the Baker name is is synonymous with women's sports <laughs> at uh, at Newton Falls, both with uh, with Christina over at the volleyball side and you with the women's basketball side. I, I want to give you that chance to shout out the rest of the uh, the assistants too, and some of the other big names in uh, Newton Falls girls basketball that kind of make that program go. Yeah, I, I would have to talk you know first about my assistant coach Tony Hushauer. Uh, who really could be a head coach in his own right. I think Tony's been with me now for probably 15, 16 years. Um, you know, in, in my absence, uh, I really don't have to worry. Tony's going to pick right up uh, where everything is left off. He's able to uh, to to just, you know, the team is just going to not miss a beat without me. If, I have, if I'm out sick one day or something of that nature, uh, you know, I learned early on that you can't do everything by yourself. I, and I know when I was younger, I tried to do everything myself, and I, and I wore myself out uh, real quickly. So uh, having good people around you to support the program, uh, Tony is a, at the first of that list. Um, I brought up uh, another coach who's been in my junior high program now for a number of years. Brian Downing uh, has been really good with the younger kids. Uh, I brought him up to, to help me with the junior varsity team this year. Uh, and I got some new coaches that I'm really excited about in the junior high. Um, I, I got it brought in uh, Dana Tingle, uh, who's got uh, a number of years of experience at Ritztown as well as Field High School, uh, and Zach Angle, who is a, a teacher here at the school now, uh, to help me not only are they helping me at the seventh and eighth grade level, but they're helping me out at the youth level uh, as well, which has been a really hard thing for me to do uh, the last several years is to get people to help, uh, to get help at the youth level. Um, at the youth level, though, I'm also really excited uh, that I've got a number of my former players now uh, that have come back and, and are taking teams uh, to help at the, you know, the fourth, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth grade level uh, to, you know, to, to get women who have been in the program to know the expectations to know the things that we do uh it, is crucial it, it's been essential and uh, i look forward for the, the the future of newton falls to be bright uh, again when you talk about getting the program to what it is too and having those expectations and standards would you say it was harder building the program or maintaining the tradition uh i believe it it is tougher to stay on top of the mountain than it was to climb the mountain uh, you know, when I came to Newton Falls uh, 20 years ago, uh, there was not a, a strong women's basketball tradition here. Uh, I was fortunate at the time uh, that there was a lot there that there was talent uh, at the youth level. Uh, and, uh, you know, it took us, you know, it took me probably three, four years or so. I think my fourth year here, we actually won a league title. Uh, and, uh, but it, it is certainly, you know, we had a really strong, I'd say probably 15 year run, uh, to where, you know, Newton Falls girls basketball, you know, we won 18, 19, 20 games a year. Uh, but it has certainly been more difficult to stay on top of the mountain, uh, than it was be, was to climb the mountain. Uh, and that was actually something that was difficult for me uh, as a coach to learn. Uh, but I also learned uh, to trust the process, Tr trust the process, trust the things that you've done in the past, uh, you know, certainly tweak and learn from the things that we've done in the past and how we could do those things better. Uh, but trust the process. The process uh, will come around and, and uh, uh, the program will be on the rise in the near future. I have a theme question this year for basketball coaches, and I know you're a coach of knowledge. You're a coach that loves to learn, so this is kind of right up uh, your alley too. It's it's it goes with the lessons that basketball teaches, and you guys are all teachers in the sport of basketball. You've taught so many young ladies throughout your tenure there at Newton Falls about the sport of basketball. But I'm curious about the biggest lesson the sport of basketball has taught you. Biggest lesson that basketball has taught me. Uh, um. Gee, I, I've got a lot of them. You know, I've, I've got my Baker's definite dozen, uh, you know, put the team before yourself, uh, be respectful, uh, responsive, be, res uh, you know, uh, be responsible, be the first one to take full responsibility for your actions. Uh, there, there's been so many things. I, I think the biggest thing uh, that Newton Falls girls basketball has, has done for me is really, um, I, I mean, it, it, it really has fulfilled me. Uh, I obviously have a, a terrific wife, a coach's wife uh, in, in Christina uh, doing the volleyball team. Uh, but, uh, you know, my, my roots go back a long ways that I was, I was raised by my grandparents. Uh, my grandfather always wanted to be a teacher. Uh, my grandmother taught me to play basketball back in the times where, you know, women weren't allowed to cross half court. And, and I knew early on uh, that I was going to be a girls basketball coach and I was going to be a teacher. And uh, I, I think basketball to me has just taught me so many lessons 
Uh, and it's just been so fulfilling that I, uh, I, I am, I am lucky enough to, to get up, uh, to go to Newton Falls, to, to teach, to, to be a basketball coach. Uh, and it's not because of, uh, brick and mortar. It's, it's because of the, the kids and the people walking the halls of Newton Falls high school. It's also because you're pretty darn good at your job because you're able to connect with kids. How have you been able to have that success connecting with kids from multiple generations now? You know, I, I, I pride myself. You, you have to you have to figure your kids out. Kids are going to want, you know, do, you, do the kids need compassion? Do they need control? Uh, do they need a connection from you as a coach? And uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you as a coach. I'm, I'm hard on my players. I'm demanding on my players. And I and I I don't believe that you will get players to play hard for you until they know how much you care about them. Uh, so it's really a two-way street of trying to establish a connection with your players, uh, but but they got to know you care about them. Uh, and I've had a, a, I mean, just a great number of players over the years, as students as well, uh, not just girls basketball players, but students that I've had in class, you know, boys and girls through the number of years uh, that I've that I've able to make connections with that, that has just truly been uh, fulfilling. This is this has been a. a uh, it's been a ride of a lifetime. I, I truly enjoy and love what I get to do each and every day. I know Thanksgiving usually means the sport of football, but for me, it means high school basketball because for the state of Ohio, high school basketball usually starts right around Thanksgiving now. So I know you mentioned that first game is going to be against Ravenna, but I want to give mm -hmm. you a chance. Shout out to the Newton Falls community, even though you really don't need to as to why they should come out and support this team this year, but also shout out your favorite Thanksgiving Day dish. Uh, favorite Thanksgiving. I mean, I, I can't go, you can't go wrong Turkey. I mean, Turkey, Turkey is at the top of the list. Absolutely. Uh, stuffing. Uh, I'm i I'm a little, you know, maybe even some of the desserts pecan pie is, is pretty high, uh, on my list right there on Thanksgiving day. So, uh, but as far as, you know, the upcoming season, uh, Newton falls is a basketball town. Uh, there, there's no doubt about it. It's a basketball town. Uh, I, I, I promise the fact that uh, Newton Falls girls basketball, as well as the boys basketball teams, uh, are going to put teams on the floor this year uh, that the community can be proud of. They're, they're going to play with grit. They're going to play with determination. Uh, they're going to be difficult to beat each and every night, uh, and they're going to be a, a joy to watch. They're going to continue to get better uh, game after game after game, uh, and I look forward to the things that they're able to do uh, by the end of the season. So I look forward to everybody coming out. Uh, we have that first, uh, uh, we actually, our first game is actually at Ravenna uh, on uh, that, uh, that Friday before Thanksgiving. So about the 22nd of November. And then uh, I know we've got a big one coming up. Uh, I think I'm going to say the following Monday, it's going to be a quick turnaround. We'll have our first home game uh, that day, which I think is going to be actually Latonia. Uh, that that may not be correct. I might have to double check my schedule on that. It seems to blend together after a while. So, uh, look forward to everybody coming out. Uh, enjoy another great uh, great season of uh, of women's and and men's uh, hoops here at Duke Falls. Yeah, the clock is ticking till uh, the opening tip, Coach, and I know you can't wait for it. I can't wait for it as well. I'm looking forward to see uh, see this Newton Falls girls basketball team out on the floor, and I know I'll see you out there on the hardwood here in just uh, just a few short weeks. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much. It's been another edition of Coach's Corner with the legend Mark Baker from Newton Falls. <laughs>